Yep. Alrighty, today we're going to demonstrate how to clean a quail and leaving the skin on. Now these quail have already been culled. We cut their heads off. And the most important part of this is the water temperature at 160 degrees. If it's too hot, it'll break the skin open. If it's too cold, you'll work too hard and possibly break the skin open. The perfect temperature is 160 degrees. Very, very important. We just dump the, uh, uh, dip the quail into the hot water for about 30 seconds. And we're going to pull it out. We're going to go over to our garbage can. And we're just going to rub the feathers off. Don't pluck. Just rub. Take your thumb and just rub the feathers right off. The feathers will come off very, very easy. The only thing that you may have to pull is the long feathers at the end of the wings. So get that part out of your way. And the rest of the feathers, just rub them right off. Now we're going to continue doing this for, um, it doesn't take long, but until we get about 90 95 percent of the feathers off and then we're going to dip it again for 15 seconds just to get the rest of them. It just makes it a lot easier. We learned that dipping it that second time just makes the whole process much simpler. So we're just going to rub the feathers off, work them down the legs, keep the wings on, keep the legs on. Got most of the feathers off. Let's do another. I wanted to stop recording. I don't know, I think you just did one. Oh. Well, we'll just check it out and see if it gets ready to go. Okay, now we're just getting the rest of the feathers off. We did about 40 of them here with three of us and it does not take long at all. We have two people doing this and one person cleaning. It goes by pretty quick. So the other two people here with me is Norm, who's filming, and my son Michael. So once we got them cleaned, we're going to go over to the garbage can. I'm going to cut off the rear end. Then I'm going to cut off the two feet. And I'm going to make two cuts down the back, each side of the spine, from the butthole to the neck. Just getting on each side of the spine. I'm going to take that over to here because we don't waste anything. And we're going to take the guts all out. Give it a good rinse. Making sure if there's any little feathers left, they're getting that on the ribs. And that's what they look like. Get a good picture in there. Got that in there? Stop that.